Rather than staring at a blank sheet of paper, it can be better to use a template-driven approach to writing requirements. One such approach is the easy approach to requirement syntax, EARS. In this approach, there is a standard template for all requirements. And that template is a while or where of some precondition, and possibly a when or if of a trigger, leads to the system shall response. There are a number of specific templates within that general pattern. One is the ubiquitous template. The touch screen shall have a response time of less than 250 milliseconds. This is a situation which has to always be true for the system. The state-driven requirement template is while an external speaker is connected, the internal speaker shall mute. So state-driven is some condition that is true, and the entire time that condition is true, some requirement must be fulfilled. But when that condition turns false, then the requirement no longer applies. The event-driven template is, when a card is inserted, the card reader shall verify credentials. This is an action triggered by an event, and the requirement has to have some sort of response that happens one time when the precondition is met. There's the optional feature pattern, where a convertible roof is installed, a park roof motion interlock function shall be provided. Rationale. That way, the roof doesn't tear off when the car starts driving down the street. In this case, the where keyword is intended to mean there's a feature or component that might or might not be in the system, but if it's there, this requirement applies. There's the unwanted functionality template. If an invalid value is entered, then an error message shall be displayed. This is intended to provide exception handling and error handling. The complex template isn't really a template. It just permits the ability to mix and match the templates above for things that have to be more complicated. To be sure, you want to boil down requirements to the simplest possible form, but sometimes things are a little more complicated than the templates above. The EARS work also has an interesting list of requirements issues, things that can be wrong with a requirement that's worth a quick look. The attributes of requirements they found problematic are requirements that are ambiguous, vague, complex, omitted or missing, duplicated, wordy, describe an implementation, or are untestable. 